we welcome in Brandon Marcello, Mississippi State beat writer from the Clarion Ledger. Uh, Brandon, what can you tell us uh, more about this story? We haven't heard what exactly instigated the fight. Still waiting word from Mississippi State. I know it's really early on the Big Island there, but nothing new on that. But this is something that's been kind of building for several months. So you've been hearing things out of practice, that, uh, some immature uh, things going on with Renardo Sidney. And actually the fight with Elgin Bailey, those two are, are close friends, uh, the roommates. And Elgin Bailey even once told me that he considered him his little brother. Hmm. Well, we're looking at the video now. Uh, again, it, uh, AD Scott Strickland said this morning, it's not how we want our school represented. There's been some issues in the past. Um, have, we, have we seen the last of him at Mississippi State? What do you think might happen? Well, I mean, like I said, this is the, last, the first time that something like this has happened, you know, in practice. And when Tuesday, when he was first announced to be suspended, he had an outburst at practice at that point. And really just a lot of immaturity there. And I'm, we're still awaiting word to see exactly what's going to happen. But with the way this is spreading all across the Internet and, of course, on ESPN this morning, the national headlines, not exactly the way they want their program to be represented. And with as much money as they spent, on Renardo Sidney during the entire NCAA investigation, trying to get him eligible. Uh, really, at this point, it's kind of hard to see uh, them keeping Renardo Sidney around the program. Mm, all right. That's Brandon Marcella with the latest on Renardo Sidney. Thanks for joining us on SportsCenter, Brandon. Thanks, John.